Hi, hello everybody and welcome back to Pete's Plastic Playground. Um, a bit of a special edition today um, because some of you may have remembered that I've been alluding to a secret uh, project that I've had underway uh, which has extended into a few months now actually um, and I'm now in a position to reveal the nature of this secret project um, and the reason I've kept it secret is that in actual fact it's a gift for somebody, somebody that I admire and respect greatly and uh, who is somebody who is uh, an ex-fleet uh, air arm pilot. Um, so making a model of an aircraft that somebody's actually flown with all their intimate knowledge of the thing adds another challenge. Um, the other challenge is that in this particular case the product itself was very very difficult to build in actual fact i'll say it was the hardest model that i've ever ever made in my life um am i pleased with the outcome yes now it's done am i glad i did it of course because uh, i know the recipient will enjoy it but uh I, there were so many deficiencies with the model itself in terms of ill-fitting and gaps and parts breaking on the sprue and so on and so forth it was unnecessarily fiddly in places and um and it very nearly broke me um so without further ado what i'll do is um is now i'll reveal to you the nature of this uh, secret project so here it is now complete the airfix 148 scale westland lynx hma8 I've given to understand that uh, stands for helicopter maritime attack. Um, so I've done the variant with uh, two open sliding doors, uh, machine gun one side and a winch the other. Um, hopefully I haven't overdone the uh, the weathering on the um, engine outlet ports and so on. And um, But there it is. It was such an ill-fitting model. Um, there's probably a scale equivalent of six inches gap between the windscreen and the, uh, the fuselage itself. But all in all, now that it's done, I'm happy with it. I, um, I wish that I'd painted the uh, warning flashes on the tail rotor, but I didn't. I used the transfers. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and just point out all, all of, you know, sort of the bits that I'm not happy with. Overall, I think the impression of it now it's done is quite good. And, um, but I won't be falling over myself to build another one. Let's put it that way. I do have the 148 Sea King in the stash, which of course being a, a newer tooling will be um, an entirely different proposal to build, I would hope. So there we are. So the uh, the secret project was the Western Lynx HMA8, uh, made as a gift for somebody's 40th birthday. So uh, there we are, hence the personalised marking on there. There are no specific airframe markings because, um, well, um, I, there, there is one that I'm, I'm still waiting to try and get the decals for, which may be added at a later date. But um, so there we are. That means that my um, workbench is now free. And I can crack on with the first of my recovery projects, the Armstrong Whitworth Whitley GR Mark 7 uh, from Coastal Command. And I can get back to um, what I already know to be a fantastic kit to build because I've built the um, RAF version before and uh, or the bomber version before. And I know how well it goes together. I am looking forward to this enormously. It'll look great with the Wellington next to it as well um, because it's got the same you know kind of configuration for the um, submarine detection and so on the same radar antennas and so on um, go to town on the weathering as well so that's the next project which i'm going to start today but i must reiterate this um this uh video is only going to be released after um the the links has been handed over so there we are Greetings from Pete's Plastic Playground and uh, I shall be back with you again soon. Bye for now. Take care and happy modelling you all.